some gene shadfish and sort of starts the season for us, don't it? Yes, sir, buddy. Sure does. A little frost on the pumpkin this morning for this stuff, though, won't it? Yeah, first of March. We're about to the end of that. Pitch Kettle Creek. I'm looking forward to catching a few hickory shad. Oh, yes, sir, buddy. Here's this. Seem to be doing pretty good out here. Of course, it's a little slow right this minute, but. I think as the sun gets up a little bit and it warms up. Yeah. We'll catch, we'll catch some fish. The water yeah. doesn't look real clear, but. No, it's just, it stirred up pretty good, isn't it? We got maybe 10, 12 inches of visibility at the most. Yeah, a little more than that. It, it looks murky, but there's still a good visibility there. Yeah. I th I've been hearing some good reports here. I'm, I'm upbeat. I think we're going to catch some fish. Yeah. Well, we got time. We got time. Let's hope we do anyway. And we got plenty of bait. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Got one. My first shad of the season. Not yet, you had. Well, you right about like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at there. Oh, man. Pull it on there. Go ahead. Look like a row, what little I saw. Yeah. Look at there. There you go. Look at her. She, oh, she yeah. That spoon, too. Did it? Mm -hmm. Good deal. Good deal. I believe that is. Is that a row? Yeah, I believe she's it is. a row. Yeah, she's yeah, right yeah. full of row. Yeah, look at her. Boy, oh, she's pretty inch. All right, let's see. Well, let's get her back in the water there. Yeah, she was a fat, healthy fish. Yeah, boy. Hit close to it. She's like, he caught one oh, over there. Right out there. here? Mm, another spoon. I was real slow. I was real, real, real slow. So that might be the ticket this morning. I've been kind of keeping up in the water column a little bit, and I think I got it down about four or five feet. And uh, But she did. She hit right there, right side of the boat. Caught one when I was trying to retie. He's we'll staying, get up on me here. He's staying deep too. He's like when he jump a little bit. There oh yeah, there you go. There you go. Let's see if we can put that thing in the net here, buddy. Yeah, with this light tackle, I think this is like four pound test. Can't do a whole lot of lifting in. He sure is staying down though, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll Let's just see. I'll tie him out and bring him over there. And get him up on top. There you go. Ah, nice. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. That's a nice little fish there. Yeah. Oh, he hit that spoon, mm -hmm. didn't he? That old spoon. I hear you. They pretty little fish. They Good fighters that. too. Yes, sir, buddy. That they are. Problem is, there's just not enough home this morning for us. They'll come in. It's like everybody's catching them right around us. You know, I used to come and we used to tie up here with my daddy 40 years ago, right here in the same spot, really? little John boat. Mm-hmm. Man. One of the few things that hadn't changed much in 40 years. I understand. I understand that. I'll tell you what, well, shad fishing is something I've been doing for, I don't know, five, six years now. I'll tell you what, I can't wait till the first of the season when it starts. It's fun. Oh, yeah, it gets you, gets you going. Have you carried some home and eaten them yet? You know, i tell you what I heard about eating shad. <laughs> you know about that, don't you, with the cherry wood? Yeah. That's uh, the only way I've ever heard about eating them anyway. <laughs> My brother-in-law took one home last year and ate it, and he called me. He said, man, that thing was like biting into a hairbrush. <laughs> <laughs> you got one coming? Lord, here I am hung up, and you got yeah, one? Yeah, it feels like a little fish, a little buck or something. It's coming to me anyway. Good deal. Well, it's good. Ooh. I hear you. It's like you got my line. Well, that's cool. They are fighting little fish, yeah, aren't they? that boy. Old man's tarping. Look at that. Oh, he hit that short truth, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Got your line on fire.